Um, let's go ahead and log in. So we're going to say G Bryant. It wasn't G Bryant. <laughs> it was Nextcloud because I wanted to make it confusing. Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Nextcloud all-in-one app that's available on Linode's one-click marketplace. Now, Nextcloud AIO is actually a web front end that helps you set up your Docker containers uh, and simplifies the process. This is a really cool option for people who want to have a stateless version of Nextcloud running on their system, i.e. Docker, but don't really know how to use Docker or why they might want to. Uh, using Nextcloud AIO lets you do all of that yourself and it abstracts away a lot of the weird issues you might encounter as a novice user of Docker. And before we jump into this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all the awesome stuff that we're doing here on the Linode channel. But we're gonna have fun with this, so let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is log into the Linode Cloud dashboard. Once you're logged in, you'll go up to create and then select marketplace. From here, we're actually just gonna click on Nextcloud. And this is the brand new Nextcloud all-in-one package that's available through our one-click marketplace. We're gonna create a user called Nextcloud. Now, this is actually going to be the Linux user account and not the Nextcloud user account. Uh, so when you log into your uh, Linode, you'll be using this account. So we're gonna say Nextcloud just to make it more confusing. <laughs> And we're gonna provide a super secure password. An SSH key, I don't have one right now, uh, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, disable root access over SSH. We can say yes, because we've created uh, this user account. So for a Linode API token, we can actually come up here, click on our name, and then let's go ahead and click API tokens. And I'm gonna open this in a separate tab so we don't lose our progress. And we're gonna create a personal access token. And I believe this is only going to need access to domains. So let's select all for, for no access and then just go down here and hit domains and hit create token. And we'll say this is uh, Nextcloud access. Domain access. We'll create that token. We're going to copy it and then we'll switch back to our other tab. Now let's paste that token right in there. So we're gonna provide a subdomain, we'll say uh, cloud. And then for the domain, we're going to say linodians.net. Now this is obviously going to be uh, whatever you want it to be. So in this instance, I want to have cloud.linodians.net to be my, uh, my next cloud instance. Uh, for you, if you wanted to do something else, you would use your domain here, and then whatever subdomain you wanted to use. Uh, I don't believe you even need to use a subdomain, you could just use it as an actual um, domain name. And then let's provide a uh, email address. So we'll say uh, gardener at linodians.net. And then we're done with the Nextcloud specific stuff here. So let's go down, we can't select a different image, we're gonna use 2204 here. So let's select a region instead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Newark, New Jersey. Uh, that's the regionally the closest to me. Um, and it makes sense to pick a region that's closest to you. That way uh, there's lower latency between when you click something on your app and it shows up on the page. So here we're gonna go with the Linode plan. I'm gonna pick a dedicated four gigabyte plan and we can call this whatever we want. So we can say Nextcloud US East, we could say Nextcloud New Jersey, we could say whatever we want. Uh, this is a internal label, it's not gonna matter too much what you call it. Uh, and you can provide tags if you want as well. Uh, I'm not going to, that's optional. Now let's provide a super secure password. Uh, let's enable backups for $5 a month. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click Create Linode down here. And after a few moments of provisioning, it should be all set up and ready for us to use. All right, so our next cloud is now running. So what we wanna do is actually go into the Lish console. Now we need to wait for the one-click app to actually configure Nextcloud for us. But once this stops scrolling and we have a login prompt, we should be ready to go. All right, we have a Linodians login here. So now we're ready to go. So now let's open a new tab and we're gonna type in uh, our domain name. So cloud.linodians.net. This might not work. Uh, of course it doesn't because it hasn't had time to actually populate that uh, across the DNS system. 
Let's go to Linode's and we're going to click uh, we're going to click on the copy here for the IP address. And let's paste that in. All right. So in order to access this uh, temporarily, we're going to replace the dots here in our uh, domain name or in our IP address with uh, with dashes. Then we're going to do IP Linode user content dot com and then colon 8443. Oh, and we need to do HTTPS. And we can go ahead and hit Advanced and hit Proceed. NextCloud AIO stands for NextCloud All-in-One and provides easy deployment and maintenance with most features included in one NextCloud instance. Please note the password to access the AIO interface and don't lose it. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy that. And let's hit Open. Now let's type in our password. So go ahead and set this to cloud.linodians.net or whatever you set your uh, domain name to. Next up, we're going to set up some additional uh, services to go alongside uh, Nextcloud here. Uh, I'm not going to add ClamAV. I'm just going to do Collabra, Full Text Search, Imaginary, and Nextcloud Talk. Uh, so let's hit uh, Save Changes. We're going to do Start Container. And after a moment, it should uh, have these downloaded and set up for us. All right. Now all of our containers are running. So let's go ahead and open our next cloud. We're going to copy our password. We're going to come over here we're going to say admin and we're going to do our password and then hit log in. And boom, just like that, we're logged into our next cloud. Uh, now this is a, a brand new next cloud instance, uh, but it's going to be running the latest version of next cloud uh, straight from uh, the official uh, next cloud Docker image. And you can you can do whatever you need to here. But now that we're logged in, we have one last thing we want to do. Let's add some block storage. Let's go back to our Linode Cloud dashboard for a second. Uh, so let's go over to volumes, and we're going to create a volume. So let's provide a label. We're going to say uh, next cloud volume, and we're going to choose 100 gigabytes here. Uh, if you want to have more or less, you're more than welcome to change this number. Uh, now we're going to go to region and we want to make sure that we choose the same region we set up our Linode in. So I'm going to pick Newark, New Jersey, and we're going to attach it to this Linode. So Nextcloud US East. And we're going to hit create volume. Oh, of course. Nextcloud volume. There we go. All right. Now let's open up the Lish console again and log in. So we're going to say G Bryant. It wasn't G Brian. <laughs> it was Nextcloud because I wanted to make it confusing. And then we have a super secure password. There we go. So now that we're logged in through Weblish, we're actually going to uh, set up the volume that we created earlier that uh, to have an ext4 file system. Now let's copy and paste this first command here. We're going to do sudo and then we're going to paste. And let's go ahead and do uh, the next command here. So make dir, and then we're going to say mount and next cloud volume. So we're going to create the uh, mount point here, and then we're going to actually mount that drive. Sudo, and then we'll paste that last command in here. Now we also need to do one more thing, and that's going to be modifying our etc. Uh, FS tab. So let's do uh, sudo nano, etc. FS tab or F stab, as I like to call it. We're going to paste that last command in here as well. And that's going to uh, put our block device at this address or at this uh, path. We're going to hit control X to quit. We're going to hit S to save, hit enter to um, save the file. Okay, so now uh, the next time our Linode restarts, we're actually going to have uh, that block device mounted at the location we want. And let's use the CD command to switch to uh, slash MNT. And the last thing we want to do here is sudo chone www-data colon www-data. And then we're going to do everything in slash mount. So we'll put an asterisk in there. Now we need to make sure that our um, next cloud is pointed at that location. So let's go up here and click on our uh, user icon and click on apps. Now we're going to click on the little search icon. We're going to type in 
external and we should have external storage support and you're going to enable that all right now that that's done let's go back to our uh, user icon and click on settings and then we're going to come over here to uh, external storages we're going to select local and we're just going to say mount we're going to say slash mnt slash nextcloud volume and we're going to make it available for everybody and we're going to hit save now we have that available for everyone and we should have all of our files here so if we create a new directory let's create a new file here we're just going to say test uh, we're going to say blank is fine and there we go we have our file so if we do um here's a secret message from uncharted space and now if we go back to weblish and we list what we have here we now have uh, nextcloud volume so let's cd into nextcloud volume and you see we have test so we can uh if we do tail test.md there you go so we did it we set up uh, block storage on a nextcloud all-in-one instance on linode using one click apps that's a tongue twister but we did it and it's pretty cool uh i had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you did too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of the stuff that we're doing here on the Linode channel. Uh, but I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.